Hey, it's Lauren with Beadbox Bargains, and today we're going to take a look at the new upcoming items that will be posted on our website this week, starting today, the 24th, through Friday the 28th. So if you don't see an item in this video on the website yet, it's coming soon. It should be up by Friday. So I wanted to show you first, we have some more of amazing vintage Czech glass and I love these colors and shapes. They're so different from what we see typically and I'm really excited. Um, first up, we've got this nice little like fluted rice shape in a metallic iris finish. They're lovely, kind of a dark blue, purple, goldish sort of shine on these. So then we've got them and then in a similar finish, we have these wonderful leaf shapes. Look at those. You'll get um, 20 pieces, I believe, in this bag. I've held a couple back just so my things are easier to put away. I'm just gonna, don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> uh, they are absolutely beautiful. Look at the great detailing on them. Really, really love this particular leaf shape. And we've also got some fun tulips. Look at these. These are a deep, like sapphire blue and white swirl. And um, we've got this fun tulip bud detailing, or tulip flower detailing rather. And um, yeah, they're just very, very pretty. And that deep sapphire with the white, mm, it's so pretty. Okay, and then we have these pillow beads. Look at these, these are fun. It's like a pressed cushion. And these are, I believe, jet with a hematite luster over them. They've got that fun little uh, almost plush looking detail. And I love the metallic shine. These are an incredible price for how absolutely lovely they are. Look at these. These are a faceted rondelle with, um, so they're jet with the Picasso finish on the ends. And then the fire polished facets in the middle. So these are absolutely stunning. They've got almost a cathedral look to them with the detailing on either side and just really pretty fire polish facets. Very happy with those. And these are fun. This shape is just, it's so interesting to me. You've got this great vivid opaque turquoise green and this is technically called a snail shape. It's like a little twisty, twisty shape. And it just, it looks so vintage to me. I love the shape, I love the color, just so fun. I'll put these over here. And these, this deep, deep dark brown silk color is so gorgeous. I wanna make myself a bracelet with these. It's sort of a, again, like a, almost like a dented cube shape. Um, and I love that it has those little depressions in the middle because they really show off, having that varied surface really shows off the silk shine to these. They look like tiger eye, almost. It's a fun shape. It's a really fun vintage pattern. You can see some of them have darker areas. Some of them have more of the white swirl. They're just very, very gorgeous. And varied. So put those up there. We've got some 10 millimeter rounds in this beautiful blue opal. Let's so get one back in the bag. It's like a powder blue opal. So fun. And um, with lots of opal check glass, you're going to see some variations in opacity. You're going to have some of these almost translucent beads. And then you're also going to have these semi opaque lighter beads. So it's part of what makes check glass so interesting, all the fun little variations. And here is another set, and these are like a very, very pale lilac opal, I think. But they end up looking kind of like a gray opal. Very pretty. Just different, a little bit subtly different from the white opal I typically see. So I'm excited about these. And there's something, again, just something a little bit different than is currently available on the market. And then finally, for our vintage check glass, we have these really fun white and pink multicolor fire polish. Look at these. They are mostly this opaque white, but they've got this great light rose swirl that's on about a third to a quarter of the bead in most of most cases. Again, you will see some variation, but I just think those are really sweet. Very fun little blend there. Okay, we also have some gorgeous modern check glass that I'm really excited to show you. Look at these teardrops. 
they are so lovely so these are like a dark violet opal with bronze detailing so i love these you will see some variations just as each one is individually crafted in exact height and the amount of detailing on the caps but we do our best to pair them up in ways that will work well together so we've got those we've got some other gorgeous colors these are the same deep violet opal but they've got it looks like a travertine type finish on them i will get that exact code uh, looked up in the correct terminology on the final listings but they've just it's a more subtle um like a pale brown type finish so i like those and these are gorgeous look at them this is a pink satin with um a bronze luster and so often with here, i'll show you both so often with this bronze luster it has almost a purple cast to it and that just looks so gorgeous with the pink silk swirl so when an item is a silk swirl you're going to have this almost cat's eye shimmer to it it's not just one straight color it has some play of light and it's generally also swirled with crystals so you'll get some different patterns in there too love it there's the pink and we have some uh, pressed glass teardrops as well and these are going to be sold in packs of four they make beautiful earrings pendant drops they're just so fun so this is going to be like your baby blue luster i believe or steel blue luster one of those blue lusters oh <sighs> and then we've got this like more pastel sky blue coat i think this is like the light blue opal coat over crystal so those are fun and We've also got some green. This is the sage green luster over a crystal base. It's one of my favorite greens. I absolutely love this shade. And then finally, we've got the terracotta um, pink topaz type luster, where you've got a great pink color and a golden shine to it. So these are all lovely, and you will get four piece to a bag. Oh, one more. I missed one. These are the pink opal coat. So they're similar to the sky blue in uh, texture, but they're a very pretty pink color. And we've got some other fun stuff too. I'm going to show you these. Look at these kiwi ovals. So they have this fun table cut edge. Um, and then they also have like a starburst type pattern in the middle. And then they've got that great purple bon bronze luster around the edges. And you can see it is a blue silk and crystal swirl. So some beads may be part crystal, part blue silk. That is, again, normal and expected with all these fun variations. Love the color on these. They're so interesting. And the pattern variations really do add a lot of texture, which I adore. And we've got a couple more um, eight millimeter rounds in. I love these. They're one of my favorites, just the opaque turquoise. And then they've got this great gold splatter finish on them. So fun. Each one's slightly different. They're just absolutely lovely. They just, they just make me happy. And then we've also got some with this nebula finish. Nebula is a really interesting finish because it is very opaque. Um, it's like a multicolor swirl like a spacey type color pattern but it does look very different depending on what the base color is and it is also almost impossible to tell what the base color is without looking at the color codes from the manufacturer so i will be looking this up for you but i want to say maybe turquoise i don't know we'll see the listings later and we'll see if i'm right <laughs> they are just absolutely lovely it is one of the more expensive finishes because it is uh more difficult to create this like very subtle color shifting patterns love them though so pretty and then okay i love 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 this oval shape i know it's a little something different but it just it, it looks gorgeous on bracelets it's great for like accent pieces on a necklace earrings i just think it's so pretty and this teal opal mm, it's so yummy it gives me beach vibes just like gorgeous like i want to go swim in a beach that's that in an ocean that's that color it's what i want to do with my day i'm in tennessee so that's, that's not gonna happen but <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful 
Next, we have these adorable little apples. Make me Smith, think of Granny Smith apples. They've got that gold wash detail on them. Or is it like a yellow? It's like a yellow gold. And they're just so cute. And you will get six. But I'm leaving one in the bag, so I have an easier time putting all this away. All right, we're almost done with the check. Just a couple more things I wanted to show off here. First of all, look at these ovals. They are table cut. So you've got those really flat edges, then you've got the oval, almost like donut center in the middle. There's this beautiful sienna brown, and they've got a great Picasso finish over top of that. So absolutely adore those. I'll leave one down here so you can see it. And then we also have a ton of leaves coming in. I love leaf shapes. They're one of my favorite things to design with. I go a little crazy every time I can find a good price on them. And yeah, we have we have a lot of these coming in. But I love this particular little mint, mint leaf shape. It's petite, it's cute, it's very useful. Um, it's center drill top to bottom. And we've got a bunch of colors. So here's the Crystal AB. And then we've also got this emerald with a copper finish on it. I think that's really pretty. Look at those. And um, we have the same emerald with gold, which is really fun. And then um, this is the sage green luster. And we had um, a, two batches of glaze on that. So we have two very similar but subtly different tones. So we did separate those out into two separate items for you. Uh, just so everything will match nicely, but they are super close. Let me see if I can show you here on the video so you can see the difference. These just came out a tiny bit lighter than their friends. So you've got the slightly darker and then the slightly lighter sage green. Both absolutely beautiful, but again, we wanted to make sure your bags would match, so we did separate those during the sorting process. It is a subtle difference, but if you see them side by side in person, you can tell it's there. And our sorting team always does a great job of trying to make sure that your beads look good together. So I appreciate all they do. Next up, we have these matte topaz with a golden luster. Very fall. I am, every time it starts to get hot out, I feel so ready for fall. And then every time fall gets here, I'm like, what, the summer's over? So I don't know. I'll be excited though for the cooler weather. In the meantime, We'll, I'll take my kiddo to the pool and we'll have fun. But I love fall colors in every, everything. I'm just, I'm a very like fall type, what do they call that? Your color palette, color season, whatever. But yes, fall colors are my jam. And these are a light emerald matte with a gold wash on them. So pretty too. So I wasn't sure about these in theory, but when I saw them in person, I loved them. It's the... Uh, it's the matte, sorry, the matte topaz, but they've got like this more orangey pink uh, wash to them, which I think is actually really beautiful and super fun. I think it's the like the rose gold, that's what it was. And I wasn't sure how well it would show up, but I actually think it's beautiful. It's subtle, but it's so pretty. So yeah, that's the rose gold wash. And then finally, we've got these, I believe it's the chili pink spice finish and those are really fun and varied and just a gorgeous gorgeous pink color all right so that's that's a peek at our check beads coming up we do have a couple more styles i don't have time to show you absolutely everything but i did want to give you a peek at most of it so we're gonna i'm gonna put these up and then i'll show you the spacer beads we have coming all right, so we've got a whole bunch of spacer beads coming in and metal beads. And I'm kind of going to show them to you in order of least to most whimsical. So <laughs> first of all, we've got some just very uh, basic round beads. They're actually slightly barrel shaped. I think they're like a six by five millimeter or something. I'll get them measured for the listing. But um, they have a really good heft to them. And they're a size we've been out of for a while in these uh, zinc alloy beads. So very nice quality. When you just need a nice round spacer, we've got you covered. And we'll have some in some smaller sizes too, and also in gold. Again, they have a good heft to them. 
they don't have any obvious seams they're very very nicely made and I will feel like they're gonna go everywhere but I'll leave a couple of those down all right so next we have these anti-copper round beads and um, these have a beautiful stardust texture they are hollow so they're a lot lighter weight I love the um, just the way that that stardust like sort of matte texture uh, creates such a fun feel makes me want to touch them and play with them and they are very satisfying <laughs> I'm trying to escape there we go all right we also have some gorgeous little faceted rounds in antique silver I really like these they're very sparkly very shiny and some fancier larger round beads look at those these look about a 9 to 10 millimeter and I love those round patterns and so many times when I buy beads like these or when I look at buying beads like these they have very obvious seaming and these are actually pretty well made you don't have a lot of seaming on those patterns they look really nice happy with those next up we have some rondelle beads we've had these in gold before and this time we have them in antique copper and um there was apparently a separate again like a batch with uh two different batches of finish in the quantity that we ordered so you have some with this darker antique color and some of this redder antique copper color so it really just depends what look you're going for we will list them separately so you can decide what finish tone you would like whether you want the lighter redder one or the deep dark one they're both absolutely beautiful but just depends what you prefer for your project we've got some other lovely rondelles can't go wrong with this hammered look silver so pretty and then some more antique copper look at those such a fun little pattern there all right so next up we have some bicones that are some of my favorite spacer beads ever you know not to put too fine a point on it but I just I love these bicones with the little swirly details on them so these are an antique bronze we also have antique silver which I think the pattern shows up a little better so I'm going to show you those they're just I don't know I've been ordering them from this factory for like over a decade now just because I love them they're always so nice so cute and I like that they have a little bit of a neck on the end there they're great between round beads for adding just a little bit of space and texture so just a, a personal favorite of mine there and we have a whole ton of great rondelle spacer beads and these dotted bronze rondelles love those to these smaller silver like corrugated rondelles look at that these are so cute so fun to these which have some fun dotted texture in the antique copper and then also the corrugated texture again in the antique silver some really nice super useful sizes and shapes for a lot of different design possibilities these classic dotted browns in your antique gold and then also these corrugated bicones which are cute again just very very useful in a nice size package and they'll be we got really good deals on these so they'll be very um very competitively priced these I love these little woven anti copper rondelles they're so cute <laughs> and then these larger so these are interesting to me because they have um, they're almost like a double bead cap because there's definitely enough space that they will sit like right up between the bead between round beads that so they've got enough concave space in them so they're not just a flat rondelle they're a little bit uh, they have a little room so they kind of come right up against your round beads which is neat and I like the texture on the sides there 
It's kind of fun. So they're a little different. And then we've got these rondelles, which are corrugated with the little um, rim in the middle there. That's a fun look. I think they would look really cute with these together in a design because they're sort of the inverse with the uh, rim on the sides of this and in the middle of those. So just kind of cute. And we've got some larger, uh, larger holes on these cylinder bees along with really fun patterns. So those are fun. All right. Now for these slightly more whimsical beads. Look at these. These remind me of um, Hill Tribes Silver from Thailand. I've had some similar wrapped beads uh, with this kind of a pattern. But of course, again, these are going to be your zinc alloy. So they are much more affordable and just a really fun wrapped look. And you will get five. So, oh, six. Sorry, you will get six. If I could count here. <laughs> and also uh, in antique copper. And also in a six piece pack. And the copper ones are really fun and something different. And then we have these double strand spacer bars with a cute little swirly fancy curly cue design on them. So those are neat. Could make some really fun double strand jewelry with those. And then finally, I, because I couldn't resist, I just, animal beads, I can't not buy them. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> but I got some more of the little fish in. These did go really quickly last time. They're fun. They're whimsical. They're cute. And, of course, they're little goldfish friends. So that's a look at the metal beads that we have coming up. We have a bunch of different styles. There are a couple I didn't have time to show. Oh, one more. I am going to show you one more because I think these are neat. Look at these antique bronze rectangles with this like really fun sort of um, dotted and then diamond pattern on them. Really like those. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> that's a look at our spacer beads and metal beads we have coming up this week. Um, there will be a couple other styles as well. We just have so much coming in. I'm very excited. All right, so next we're going to take a look at gemstones and then we'll be finished. Okay, we have an amazing assortment of gemstones here and I'm super excited to show you. Um, first of all, we have some kyanites, which I always love to see. To me, I've always thought it looks like a dragon scale. You've got this great like little metallic shimmer, these blue, white, and gray colors. Um, and so first we have, this is a two piece like kyanite stick pendant set. So they will vary a lot as you can see. Um, every set will be different, but they will be approximately the same size, the two that you get. So those are neat. Um, we also have, <laughs> this is such a huge piece. Look at this. We have these amazing kyanite stick pendants. I feel like these would be cute earrings to go with it. Um, but we've got, you got a stack of five kyanite sticks and then a kyanite drop stick drop there at the end you've got some jump rings at the top to attach this is a statement piece and everyone's a little bit different here I'll show you another one so the exact size and shape and color of your kyanite sticks will vary slightly but they are all gorgeous and they all definitely make a statement um, you've got this antique copper finished tin here that it's made with just so fun the texture that you have on that metal work so I love these they're huge you can see there's the back they're kind of like welded together they're so fun and they are a lot but in a very neat way and then to go with them we've also got some kyanite beads we've got these little like flat rectangular nuggets again you've got just gorgeous shine on those so pretty these really look like dragon scales to me just that shape and they're so neat and then we also have some chips so we've got smaller chips you've got a longer strand of these classic small kyanite chips so pretty i love that color and then we've also got some larger top drilled chips separated by um glass seed beads here to help protect them from breakage 
and you get again a long strand but you've got the spacers in there and the sizes will vary they sort of graduate you've got the smaller chips on the end up to the longer larger chips in the middle so that's kind of fun lots of really pretty kyanite blues I'm very happy with those we also have some gorgeous faceted cube beads coming up first off we've got these flower amazonite cubes which you may have seen in one of our uh, bundles our companion bundles for the sunken treasure collection so we don't have a ton left after making the bundles but we do have a few and they're just so pretty love all those different colors and then um oh, looks like that one has a little amethyst friend on it but yes gorgeous gorgeous colors next we have look at this pink opal these are stunning and absolutely gorgeous especially for the price the facets are so beautifully done you've got all those great creamy pink tones with a little like mossy brown and black inclusions it's absolutely gorgeous love them and then also we'll have some sodalite and again with these particularly with a sodalite ever and the flower amazonite it looks like every now and then you might get an amethyst rogue bead on your strand but um the sodalite itself is really pretty you've got the dark blue tones as well as the like grayish black and almost even slightly golden hues so very pretty it looks great with the kyanite as well and then we've got these really fun chunky nuggets i'm excited to show you look at these so these are a peach moonstone mixed with some sunstone too and the line between moonstone and sun and sunstone again it's a little blurry some of these you can see have that gorgeous golden like metallic finish and that's going to be more of a sunstone shine and then you've got the really creamy moonstone look at that more of like the moonstone uh shiller type shine there so really gorgeous love the chunky nugget shape and we also have these chunky nuggets in lapis deep blue look at that so pretty so next up i'm going to show you some amazonite oh actually nope i missed one of the cube strands we also have labradorite cubes these are lovely you've got some like multicolor shine occasionally there as well as just so much sparkle look at that i don't know if you can see i'm trying to hold where you can see um all the little bits of the labrador essence there the multicolor flash along with just tons of sparkle from the beautiful faceting it's one of my favorite lapidaries they always make the most gorgeous faceted beads so really pleased with those but next i will show you the amazonite that we have coming in so we have eight millimeter and six millimeter strands and these were a really good price for the quality look at that beautiful minty green color with the white swirls occasional hints of brown but mostly tons of that mint mint green so very pleased with these and excited to bring them to you all right i also want to show you these get this like honey yellow opal chips i love that color it's so gorgeous the mixture of um it does look like honey it looks like honeycomb mixture of like those golden yellows and the opaque whites and again the mossy black inclusions that you see with opal it's absolutely beautiful all right next up i'm going to show you some rainbow fluorite look at these little rondelles they're so cute so you've got a lot of purple tones and occasional green and clear in these and then we've got these beautiful faceted rounds and now these strands are shaded so they graduate in color from like the darker purple through the greens and even like some gold tones here i'm going to clear a little space so you can kind of see what i'm talking about better and the color shifts then back to the greens back to the purples to the lighter purples and it makes that transition twice per strand so you get a lovely assortment of natural rainbow fluorite colors and the quality is gorgeous the faceting is beautiful very happy with these four millimeter faceted rounds all right i'm going to clear this up and i've got just a few more strands to show you and then another pendant all right next i want to show you these gorgeous uh serpentine nuggets 
or new jade as this particular color of serpentine is called. Um, even though it is not technically jade, it is a variety of serpentine, but it's absolutely beautiful. This gorgeous sea green color. So honestly, one of my favorite stones. I feel like I say that about so many, but this color, it just makes me happy. I love them. Those beads are beautiful. And then we've got some uh, man-made glass beads. So these are the, what's known as tiger skin cherry quartz. So the strands will vary. I've got two of them here to show you. Some of them are gonna have a higher concentration of your traditional cherry quartz glass. And some of them are gonna have more of the tiger skin with just a little bit of the cherry quartz mixed in. So they do vary, but they're all lovely. And it's a fun mix with the pinks and the browns. I love these like super duper stripy ones, but they're all gonna be different and they are really fun. So um, these are a man-made specially treated glass that is then processed by the same lapidaries that process our gemstone beads. But they are a man-made material as we will always mark on the listings for you. Some people, um, we'll just call them cherry quartz, but that is incorrect. They are cherry quartz glass. So we also have some beautiful uh, citrine in a, it looks like about an eight millimeter size. It's a little bigger than the ones that came in the bead box earlier this year, but they are from the same lapidary. So they're a similar color. Look at that gorgeous golden yellow with some white in them very very nice quality especially for this price they are a steal and then we've got some beautiful uh jasper cylinder beads look at these so fun that red brown color is really nice we've also got some lapis cylinders really pretty these do look to me like they've been dyed they're just a darker blue um i get asked frequently does dyeing a gemstone affect its value and that is a great question so i wanted to bring it up um and the answer is that in some cases it can um oftentimes it actually increases the value you have like the fancy tiger eye galaxy tiger eye we had last week those are significantly more expensive than regular tiger eye um, but it's because, you know, they, it takes work to dye them and heat treat them. There are other times when, um, like this is probably the case with this lapis, they are dyed to just help enhance the color a little bit. Um, so you can get the look of, um, the, like the, basically the lapis lazuli that is, uh, completely dark blue like this is typically very expensive. So, um, and you can still see like the white swirls in here and I can still see those, um, what is it? The fool's gold glitters. My brain is not providing me the name of that gemstone at the moment. I'll think of it. <laughs> so you can tell they're genuine, but they are dyed just to give them um, a little bit more of that deep, deep indigo color that's highly prized. So I have no issue with dyed beads, but my thing is I will always disclose it because um, other than diamonds, there is not a universal grading scale for gemstones. Some suppliers will say, oh, it's a grade triple A or grade C, and it doesn't mean anything except internally for them. Uh, so you can't really compare them. So I don't generally give things a grade because the factories don't do it and i'm just be making things up um the points don't matter <laughs> but in this case uh if you look at this and you go wow that's a really deep dark blue lapis strand that's going to be very expensive um if it's dyed it's going to be uh you're going to achieve that color without having to pay the same super high price that you would for one that's naturally that tone so it is very important to me to indicate when a strand is dyed, but it, it's also important to, I'm, like, just to let you know, it does not, it neither really increases nor decreases the value, except in certain circumstances, like I said, like the Galaxy Tigri, where they're heated and dyed to make fun colors that don't appear in nature. And those are generally gonna be more expensive because more work and cost has gone into their production. So in the case where you're taking a grade that has a little bit more of the white swirls, and making it look like this deep indigo, 
it's not going to lessen the value of the strand, but it is very important to me that we disclose if we suspect things are dyed so that you know what you're paying for, so that you know that you're paying for genuine lapis. You're not getting an imitation, but also um, it has been color enhanced. So um, that's, I don't know if that helps clear up any questions, but it is something I've had people ask. And just being on in the jewelry industry and work, working in this market for so long, I can tell you that just, it doesn't decrease the value. In some cases it e increases the value, but it is important to disclose so that your customers know what they're getting. And so many, like if you go to a retail craft store, a lot of the things we won't be disclosed. They'll just say like agate. And I like to indicate when things are dyed, heat treated, etc., because I just, I like you know what you're getting. So that's why we do that. It's not necessarily to say this should be a higher or lower value. It's just to let you know what processes the lapidary has disclosed to us. So um, anyway, that's my spiel there. These are rhodonite and I love the combination of the barrels with the little rondelle beads in between them. And these are a uh, really fun combination of pink and black as well. They are a little on the darker side, which I actually love. You get some really neat gray patterns in there too. So those are neat. And then we also have more of the peach, sunstone, moonstone in an English cut, which will go really cute with those uh, big old faceted nuggets we were looking at earlier. These are a much more petite size that you could use like to space them out. And finally, we have some Labradorite rounds in an eight millimeter. So these have some subtle flash to them here. They're a really nice size. It's um, unusual to find the larger Labradorite beads at this low of a price, so I was excited by that. Um, and you do still have some really pretty flash on a lot of these beads. So pretty happy with those, especially for the price. I'm extremely happy with those. Those are very, very fun. I love the gray color. You have some neat black inclusions too which make for some fun visual interest. So, all right, well, I've just got a couple more things to look at here. First of all, these are faceted um, brown snowflake obsidian. Look at that, which is, I feel, a very underrated gemstone. These patterns of gray and brown together are just stunning. There's a subtle marble, but the patterns, when you look closely, are phenomenal. So really, really like these. And that faceted rondelle shape is nice and bold and makes a fun statement. Next up is this uh, fun little dragon. Look at that. So you've got a little dragon curled around the lapis center cab there. And um, this is made of brass. And then you've got a nice little, uh, nice little bale on the top there for stringing. So. It's very cute. I like how the little tail and body and then face wraps all around. And that would be very pretty with those cylinders there. Okay, so that's most of what we have coming up this week. There are, there will be more. Um, one last thing I guess I'm going to show you here because I love them are these little dyed quartz uh, drops here. So these are all going to be different, different sizes and shapes because they're natural points that have, that as in the shape is natural. They have been dyed to this bright pink and wire wrapped with a gold finished wire. So those are very cute. All right, that's it for real guys. <laughs> We've got a few staff picks to show you here at the end, but um, other than that, this is uh, what we'll be working on this week. You will start seeing these beads today and they should all be on the website by Friday. We'll do the chat glass first, then the spacers with the gems closer to the end of the week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions or comments or things that you're looking for, um, I love reading your comments and I really appreciate uh, just how kind and supportive the beading community is as a whole. Y'all are fantastic. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and happy beading. Hey guys, welcome back to our staff pick segment. I'm Adrian, and once again, I am here with not my own picks, but the picks of one of our absolute favorite team members. So today we have Miss Rita 
She is our assistant warehouse manager. She is phenomenal. Just, ev she's just the best, honestly. And we're excited to show you some of her favorite items. So well, let's get started. All right. Up first, we have this gorgeous Coriana chain. This is chain 612. And this beading chain is perfect to create like an illusion type of look. It makes the beads look kind of like they're floating. I actually have a little uh, example right here. And you can see it kind of gives the illusion that the beads are just hanging out, floating over there. Really pretty, really elegant. So this is the perfect chain to do that with. Okay. These are so cute. I always love these beads. So these are pressed glass four leaf clovers. They are glass 826. I asked Miss Rita kind of why she liked these ones and she says she likes them because she's Irish and I think that's pretty self-explanatory there. But they are, they're so cute. They would make great earrings. Ooh, you guys should make some earrings. There we have them. Glass 826. All right, look at these little guys. They are spacer beads, emphasis on the B, am I right? And they have little, they're little smiley faces, which is so cute. They're spacer 942. They're just so, ah, uh, they're just adorable. And the fact that you can interchange B and bead, I mean, there's so much you can do with that, y'all, so maybe go crazy. All right, these are just a couple of Miss Rita's favorite items. As usual, you can find all of these and so many more at our website, beatboxbargains.com. Thank you so much for joining us again. We really, really appreciate the time, the support from all of you. And if you're feeling like it, give us a like, a comment, even a subscribe. I wish you would. All right, we'll see you next time.